yeah. much mm -hmm. anticipated Ron Burgundy a la Will Ferrell. <laughs> we just can't wait to hear what you have to say. Make us laugh. <laughs> oh, that, no pressure, no yeah. pressure. Yeah, I, I'm so thrilled. I know we all are. The moment is finally here. Anchorman 2 hits theaters tomorrow, and for weeks we've been seeing Ron Burgundy pop up all over, from an anchor desk in North Dakota to, mm -hmm. you Thanks know, the Canadian Olympic curling <laughs> trials and even commercials for the Dodge Durango, which is selling Dodge like crazy. Durango. Thanks to Ron. Uh, right now, I'm here with the man behind the amazing mustache, Will Ferrell. Welcome to Good Morning America. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for doing the promo. Almost, uh, in character as Ron. Oh yeah, it's that was hysterical. Fun. That was great. It made us all wonder how would Ron fare on Good Morning America. Well, like he said in one of the promos, he he, he would have no idea that you have to start so early. Yeah. He would think Good Morning America. His morning starts at about eleven. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, he would. He would. He'd be late for the very first day. But and like yeah. and unapologetic. Unapologetic and probably smelling of scotch. Yes. Yes. And what's the problem? The, because I smell a lot of scotch around a lot. Of, a lot of the crew members. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, how has no it one been wants for you? It. Uh, yeah. You've you've immersed yourself in character, not only on, in doing the movie, but right. now in promoting the movie mm -hmm. for for months and months. How has that been for you? You know, this this movie uh, presented itself with a you know a unique opportunity, and I love kind of performing as Ron Burgundy. And uh, so when we had our first uh, marketing meetings with the studio, I kind of put it out there that I'd be up for doing a lot of stuff in character. And uh, it's great. It it, it kind of tells the story of, of the movie in a different way without having to just do the standard interview thing. And and it's it's everything we've done has has been unique in its own way. And and people have loved it. Yeah, and we and, use the clips all and the time. Exactly, the news itself, all the news outlets give us a whole second wave of promotion because they show all the well, stuff. I'm, I'm yeah. glad you mentioned that. Yeah. There, do you find a subtle irony or not so subtle irony in the fact that the news, we love the movie, a, and yet there are some not so subtle jabs? A not, yes, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a not a subtle irony at all that. <laughs> Ron Burgundy is celebrated by the by the media yeah. itself, and he's a horrible journalist. Uh, <laughs> he he would never be hired by by anyone uh, in real news. Um, but I think, in a way, uh, all the news outlets like to know that that they're still being looked at and paid attention to. Right. We, I mean, we, all, we all laughed so hard, but there were some moments where there was some cringing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, when Ron discovers that car chases yes. equal ratings. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, I mean, that was, that was kind of what was fun about doing this movie is to make a really funny, broad PG-13 movie and at the same time have a little little satirical edge to mm -hmm. it. Uh, uh, yeah. let, let me set up the premise. So, so you try to, uh, you do reassemble the gang, right. the team, for a very big opportunity. And uh, I'm going to show a clip right now where you all are now back together okay. yes. and you are reminiscing. Take a look. Okay. What, what about the time that you dared Cham to drink that beer stein full of woolite? He drained it faster than you could say, no, don't do it. That's the equivalent of drinking poison. <laughs> I was in a six-month coma. They say from the neurological damage, there's no way I live past 55. <laughs> you got three years left, my friend. How was that for you being just, with the guys? They're just reminiscing about, <laughs> yeah, horrible stuff. Uh, <laughs> it was great. I mean, you know, we kind of picked up right where we left off nine years ago, and, uh, um, you know, I, I'm very good friends with Steve and Paul and David, and uh, and so to kind of get the band back together, so to speak, was great. We had James Marsden on yesterday. Uh -huh. He's the who's the new kid on. He's the block an ugly guy, isn't he? He's very yeah, yeah I feel unsightly, bad for him. hard good, to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and you definitely uh, enjoyed poking fun at that. But he was telling us about literally 20 minute takes. That yeah. you and Adam, Adam yeah. McKay, the director, right. would just you just let it roll. Well, that, you know, and that's one of the, the the great things about shooting on digital is you can just go for literally 20 minutes, and um, and we and it's a great great tool for improv and comedy and that sort of thing. And we actually have an alternative cut of the movie that'll probably be on the DVD with 300 brand new jokes. Oh so my! And and trying to keep it 
together, I'm, I imagine. Was... No, it's impossible. <laughs> but uh, but that's the fun of you know it's working well, and I think you can uh, that joy in performing translates on the screen. Uh, your co-star, another co-star, Baxter, the dog, has been with us all morning. Yes. Baxter is he... coming here with some uh, questions from oh, fans. Okay, well I'm surprised because um, he would not talk to me all morning. Well, um, he's a little jealous. Yeah. Um, but Baxter, thank you so much. Um, ba Baxter uh, yeah. has a card that reads, Ron Burgundy, please tell us the secret to such great hair. Oh, the secret to such great hair. Well, you've got to, you've got to condition. Conditioning is yeah. everything. Yeah. A leave-in conditioner, if you can find one. Yeah. Um, and get at least 15 hours of sleep a night. Well, yes. that's minimum. That really, you know, teases the hair follicles. Yeah. Uh, you've said that Ron Burgundy is based on Mort Krim. Uh, well, it, that was the initial idea for the first movie, is, is watching uh, Mort kind of talk about his relationship with Jessica Savage and, yeah. uh, uh, way back in the day. And, and I did kind of pattern a little bit off of his voice. And uh, yeah, it was just, I thought it was funny that here he was, uh, he'd been retired for years and he still spoke like a newsman. Yes, he and, did. Uh, and so Ron, yeah, there's a little shade of Mort. Any, anybody today that, uh, that embodies the spirit? Um, huh. Well, uh, I, I would say there's... Sam Champion's left us, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be beautiful hair. Beautiful hair, great teeth. <laughs> Gorgeous yeah. I'm smile. glad he's not here, because I'd be nervous. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Will yeah. Ferrell, we thank you so much. Baxter, we thank you. Anchorman 2, Thanks. The Legend Continues, opens nationwide tomorrow.